Hello everyone and welcome back to another Essential Album video. We are now on week 43 and this week we are taking a look at Paul's Boutique by the Beastie Boys. Uh, first released July 25th, 1989. Some notable tracks off of this album are Hey Ladies, High Plains Drifter, B-Boys Bullinaise, and Shake Your Rump. Um, I love the Beastie Boys. They're one of my favorite kind of rap slash hip hop uh, groups. Um, and it was a really close call between, uh, there's three BC Boys albums I, at any moment, could rate as my number one favorite album um, from them. And the first one is License to Ill. I just love License to Ill. I love the beats. I love the kind of uh, somewhat comedic um, lyrics on those songs. Like the, the fact that it was their first album, it looks like they're just having a lot of fun with it. So I really love License to Ill. You move into Paul's Boutique, and Paul's Boutique um, has just amazing sampling, amazing production quality. Um, it has some very awesome lyrics as well. And it definitely um, had a lot of really good, just like like I said, production with sampling and mixing stuff in from various genres. Felt a little more experimental than their first album. And it's easily one of the best hip-hop albums um, ever made. And then third on that list for me is... Hello Nasty. Hello Nasty, I really love as well. Um, I love that that album. It features like Intergalactic is on that. It features a lot of really good uh, hip hop, but also, you know, like songs that are not even hip hop at all that are on that album. It's kind of like they got together, produced this, uh, produced what they wanted to produce, and put it on an album. And it's um, and uh, uh, Hello Nasty is an amazing album. I did a episode of that for my 1998 Represent series. So at any moment, any of those three albums could be, I could say, my favorite BC Boys album is one of those three. License to Ill, Paul's Boutique, or Hello Nasty. Uh, for this series, since I'm limiting myself to just one album per artist, I ended up going with Paul's Boutique on this one. Just for the kind of, uh, the significance of the like production quality on it, the sampling, the borrowing from just multiple genres and um, just them kind of making what they wanted and just, like, again, like, having a lot of fun doing it, getting a little bit more experimental with it, getting a, li a little bit weird with what they were were doing, and I think it's one of the best hip-hop albums of all time. I would even say, like, some of the other albums that I listed that I love are probably up there as well, but I think just with um, Paul's Boutique, I, th I feel when it came out, it just kind of changed the game um, when it was uh, released. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the track list now for this album. So we have about 15 tracks here, and it, um, the album comes in at about 53 minutes. Um, so track one is To All The Girls. Track two is Shake Your Rump. Track three is Johnny Royale. Track four is Eggman. Track five is High Plains Drifter. Track six is The Sounds of Science, which I think is cool because I want to say in the late 90s, and maybe it was 99, maybe it was 2000, I don't recall exactly when, they put out um, an anthology album called The Sounds of Science. I don't know if it was their first anthology album. It might have been. But they put out like a kind of like an anthology slash greatest hits collection, and they called it The Sounds of Science, kind of naming it after um, this song on this album. So that's track six. Uh, track seven is Three Minute Rule. Track eight is Hey Ladies. Uh, this is the vinyl. We're going to the other side. But uh, track nine is um, track nine is Five Piece Chicken Dinner. Track um, ten is Looking Down the Barrel of a Gun. Track eleven is Car Thief. Track twelve is um, What Comes Around. Track thirteen is uh, Shadratch. Track fourteen is Ask for Janet, which is really cool because it's like an eleven second eleven second song. And it's like a guy on the radio being like, hey, yeah, go down to Paul's Boutique and ask for Janice. They're located in Brooklyn. And it's kind of just like a little a little bit there. And there was something I remember reading in the BC Boys book. I think that's what it was actually called. And it was uh, Ad Rock and Mike D. Uh, came out a few years ago. Um, and it was it's kind of like their their own personal kind of biography. And they said how they had bought the like the phone number for Paul's Boutique at some point, and they had it like set up to like a tape, like a, not an auto caller, but I think you would call it and it would basically just like read a message and they had that for however many years. Don't know if they still have it. I don't 
wouldn't think they did, but they might. And then track 15 is B-Boy Boulonnaise, which is a 12-minute uh, track. And it's a, uh, let me count these up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that correct? Yeah, so it's a, a nine-song suite. So it has nine very short songs, or you put them all together, you get the 12-minute uh, um, experience. Kind of like how the Beatles did um, the suite on the, the kind of the back half of Abbey Road. But uh, part one of the B-Boys Boulinaise, or yeah, Boulia Bass, I, I keep saying Boulinaise, I don't like, Boulia Bass is, is what I should be saying. Uh, so yeah, B-Boys Boulia Bass. Um, so part one is 59 uh, Christie Street, part two is Get on the Mic, part three is uh, Stop That Train, part four is A Year of the Day, part five is Hello Brooklyn, part six is Dropping Names, part seven is Lay It On Me, Park, uh, part eight is Mike on the Mic, and part nine is A Wall. So those nine parts, once you combine them, uh, create the uh, B Boy B Boy Booyah Base, not Boulonnaise. I keep saying Boulonnaise. They're, they're both food, I guess. I think Booyah Base is a is a, it's a soup, and I think uh, Boulonnaise is like a pasta sauce or something. I don't remember exactly. But um, that makes up the entirety of the um, B Boy Booyah Base which is the ending uh, chunk of the album. Um, you can't go wrong with this album. It's just it's a hip-hop masterpiece, essentially. Uh, one of the best hip-hop albums ever made. Um, but like I said, like my three favorite Beastie Boys albums are this, License to Ill, and Hello Nasty. Can't go wrong with any of them. And I remember um, I have... Um, had heard a bunch of the stuff. I didn't hear it when it first came out because I was like, would have been like seven or something like that on uh, the first album. But um, really loved like the music videos for like Fight for Your Right. And I think like, like I said, that was a very successful album for them. But a lot of critics said, you know, the music was kind of immature, which it probably was. But I think like people didn't really care. But um, it was just really cool because they were able to kind of take that criticism and then just create out of that get incredibly experimental and create Paul's Boutique. Um, I, I don't think there's probably a bad Beastie Boys album. Unfortunately, never got to see them live. I think the last time they were playing Anywhere Near Me was when they were doing an instrumental tour only. It was like the Coded Tales. You had to wear like, a, like nice clothing to it. And I think I want to say that was like 2008 or so. It was kind of like right before MCA got, um, got sick and then they kind of just stopped touring and then years later unfortunately passed away but um, can't go wrong with Pulse Boutique I would highly recommend checking it out the version I listened to and streamed on Apple Music I think is the 20th anniversary edition so it would have came out in uh, 2009 doesn't add anything any new tracks or unreleased tracks or anything like that it's just a, a nice uh, remastered 20th anniversary version of the album but that's going to do it for this uh, week's album. We'll be back again in a week with another album, and we'll be doing these videos up until the end of the year. And then at the end of the year, we'll do like a recap on all that stuff. So that's going to do it for now. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.